so this is cool. I recorded a video on Instagram Live and I apparently can't share it anywhere else, which surprised me since I thought that Instagram and Facebook were connected and that I could like save the video and I don't know what the heck happened. Anyway, um, hi, uh, recording this video for some of the rad peeps in senior yoga at Portland Parks and Rec because we're not really able to be together right now, which is mildly tragic, but also going to hopefully be really good in the long term. So I hope you're all well and safe and happy and loved. Um, definitely you're loved. That one's definitely um, taken care of. Uh, yoga means connection. And I have been so like inspired and excited by all of the points of connection that I've been seeing in the world today. I mean, most of it's been online because I'm a little bit quarantined in my apartment, but I've seen so many people reaching out and saying like, hey, if you can't leave, if you can't get out, if you need food, if you need you know, toilet paper, whatever, um, like, we'll help you get what you need. Uh, a lot of folks reaching out to friends uh, who might have kids who are on um, school lunch programs and then they're not getting the lunch programs because school's not in. Um, it's been really great uh, to see people, you know, helping each other and looking out for each other that way. I think it's really important that we need to make sure we always remember the human at times like this and also to still be very connected with ourselves at times like this. So taking some time out to make sure that you're breathing, that you're taking care of yourself. If you aren't able to get outside of your home very much, then find some ways to move, find some ways to change things up, to connect with your community. It's an awesome time to be alive. Great technology options to, um, to connect with other humans that don't involve getting all that close to them. I was out for a run this morning. I was like, okay, stay six feet away from all people. Make sure you don't get too close. Like, don't breathe on them. It's fine. You're still like, all right. So I go for a run and I'm out in my neighborhood and I ran into like a dozen or so of my neighbors. And a lot of times, you know how like you walk by somebody and you don't really know them. So you just kind of like look down at the ground and like nobody did that. One person did that. Mostly nobody did that. We were all like waving and saying hi as we're like walking up on somebody else's lawn or like cutting into the middle of the street or crossing the street so we don't we don't get that close to each other. So it was like huge physical social distancing and then this also like really deep like heartwarming social connection was happening. We're like, yep, cool. I'm not around anybody else either. Bye. Have a good day. <laughs> it's, it's weird. Times are crazy. Uh, I've got uh, three poses for you and we're going to start with a breathing exercise together. This is Samavriti breath. This is an even steady flow of breath that we do to try to find balance. Uh, when things are going a little bit out of whack or out of the usual. So we'll just start with taking a really big breath in and then breathe it all out. And then in through your nose, breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Pause at the top and then breathe out. Same counts. One, two, three, four. Five. Pausing at the bottom and then breathing in. Two, three, four, five. Pausing and breathing out. Two, three, four, five. Pausing and breathing in. Two, three, four, five. Pausing and breathing out, two, three, four, five, pause, breathe in, two, three, four, five, pause, and breathe out, two, three, four, five, pause, breathing in, two, three, four, five, pause, and breathe out, two, three, four, 
five. A little pause. Take a normal breath in. A normal breath out. And we're gonna take these shapes that we're gonna start to uh, fire and power up a little bit of our power chakra which is in between the belly button and the sternum so right in here kind of at the top of your abdominals which are the place on me that will get uh, tightest and sorest the fastest. I think there's a lot that really happens in the body at this point so we're going to charge ourselves up so we have the power to get through whatever kind of madness the universe is about to throw at us and the madness we're currently experiencing. Good times. So just go ahead and send your legs out in front of you and you're gonna draw your, let's start everybody to your left knee first in towards you, maybe like just a little bit, or maybe you bring it in a lot. Maybe you do cross your foot over your leg, but it doesn't matter uh, exactly how much you're twisted up, just so you've got this leg up a little bit closer to you. And then your left arm, if you've got your left knee bent, you're gonna bring your left arm nice and close in towards your back and then reach up through your right arm, long spine, hook the elbow outside of your leg. So this is a little bit more of a strong connection to the leg. Sometimes I say hug the knee. This time we're gonna hook the elbow because we really wanna feel a, a good um, fire into the belly as you lift up through the spine on your inhale and then soften that belly and rotate around it as you exhale. So two more breaths like that. Inhale, get taller. Exhale, soften the belly, maybe a little bit more twist. Inhale, feel the spine lengthen. Exhale, rotate and then release your twist. And you're gonna switch sides. So you're gonna take the other leg over, I'll show from the front, you're gonna cross that right leg in, bring that right arm right behind you, lift the left arm up, and then hook the elbow. And it's that hooking of the elbow that's gonna apply pressure, gonna apply some resistance to perhaps make some change. As you inhale, lift up from behind your ears. Exhale, soften the belly and rotate. Inhale, lifting tall. Exhale, soft belly right into that center point. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist. And then let it go. And then our next shape is going to be standing. So we're going to come up and stand with the feet nice and wide. So if I reach my arms out, I want to bring my feet about underneath my wrists. And then turn your left toes out straight towards the side. You're going to turn your right toes in a little bit. They're at like a a 45 degree angle and then bend into your left leg bring the elbow down bring your right arm up and over and then try not to like let yourself fall back here you want to keep the knee in line with the toe and we want to draw inwards from that center point and you can kind of see my arm coming forward here just enough to stretch out the back of my shoulder blade my heart's still open towards you folks here take a big breath in big breath out and this big side stretch and side angle that really fires up some of the top of the abs, the power chakra here. So you're gonna bend into your left leg, or I'm sorry, that's my right leg. I never know because I'm always mirroring. I've got these toes and knee facing in, that foot about a 45 degree angle. And then you're gonna reach that, um, that's the left arm, good job. Unless it's your right arm, just as long as you're doing the other side, that's fine. You want the tailbone reaching down towards your back foot and then you're gonna let the shoulder blade come off of the spine, draw the center of your, um, your power center right in towards your spine, right up above your belly button there. Take a big breath in, big breath out. And then come back up to the center. And we're gonna go back down onto our knees. Now what you might do instead of being on your knees is just send the arms in front of you and bring the hands back behind you. And you can do this seated heart opener where you're gonna use the power center to lift up and expand your heart. So we're gonna use our inner strength to open up and find some courage and some open heartedness. So you could do this seated heart opener or we're gonna come up into camel pose. I'm just gonna do a very gentle camel pose. Haven't done a lot of warming up. Just go ahead and bring your hands back to your hips. And instead of trying to dump the back of your head back onto your feet, we're gonna move the hips slightly forward. Notice I've got my toes curled under. It helps to lift the under butt. I'm gonna let the hips, the belly, and the heart move up and forward. And then I'm gonna keep my head on my spine, looking up and outwards. My friend Mark's been talking about high-fiving on the astral plane, so you can think of 
sending your heart out to the astral plane, to the space, you know, high-fiving without touching. Yeah. All right, take another breath in. And then go ahead and draw the hips back and back up onto your spine. And then you could maybe resume some of that samavritti, that same flow of breath that I often recommend when we're feeling a little bit disoriented in space. And it's actually very grounding to do an inversion. It really helps to draw us inwards. So you can do anything that really calls to you with an inversion. If you know one that you really love, that's any place where your body's upside down. Um, sometimes legs up against the wall is really great. Right here, I've got the bed, so I might just kind of like flop my feet up here. And you can see I'm no longer right side up, which isn't super unusual for me, but it is unusual for the human body to be in this position. So the a nervous system, the, um, the brain wants to really focus in on what's happening right here, right now. And it can be very soothing to the nervous system. Anyway, I'm really glad you stopped by for a moment. I hope that this was uh, helpful for you to at least, you know, break away from the world for a couple of minutes. I'm going to try to post these weekly and check in with folks. So let me know if you've had any thoughts, concerns, comments, questions, uh, interesting stories about finding real yoga and connection in your life during this interesting experience we're having. Um, stay safe, stay well, wash your hands, stay inside if you need to, it's going to be okay. Uh, let people know if you need help because we're out there and we can help you. And you're really awesome and have a really great day. The light inside of me bows and honors the same light within you. Namaste.